Hi, I'm Waddles. Do you like food? <laughs> if the answer is yes, this is the video for you. Welcome back to the Data Pack Showcase series. Today I have three food related data packs for you. I've been thinking a lot about food lately and yeah, so here we are today. <laughs> now you know the deal with these data pack showcase videos, all of the data packs are linked down below and if you are interested in any of the packs, definitely put it in your world and try it out. If you like it, make sure you tell the creator of the pack that you like their work. Maybe, just hopefully, that will inspire the creator of whatever pack to make more cool packs. If you enjoy the video, help me out, leave a like, and consider subscribing. Let's start off our video with the 1.13 Natural Cooking Data Pack by Ender's Host. This is a very, very simple data pack and an immersive data pack. If you feel like things should get cooked when they are over the fire, this is the pack for you. All you need to do is get a fire going, get some trapdoors over the fire, and then throw something that you want cooked on those trapdoors. As you can see right here, there's a different particle effect going on, and eventually we should get the cooked version of those things. So now we have dried kelp and we have cooked chicken. That's all the pack does. Very, very simple, very minimalist, uh, but I just really, really like it. I like how things seamlessly change over to their cooked variants, and I really like the particle effect that is added in with this pack. I think this pack would be really nice if you're making like a map and you want the player to cook their own food or something like that. Or if you're just trying to make something a little interesting, do something a little different with your survival world. All right, moving on to data pack number two. Now, I've known about this pack for a few weeks now, and I'm really excited to take a look at it. This is the Peppers data pack by Airvolt. Airvolt is actually from the Danger Chat, which is pretty cool. I will link Airvolt's channel in the description as well as the data pack, of course. So like I said, this is the Peppers data pack. This is another data pack with a resource pack. Make sure you have that pack on so stuff looks right. But right here, we can see the pepper crop. Now, the pepper data pack actually adds a lot of things. This is by far the biggest data pack in today's video. In this chest, it is everything that's added. We'll go through it really quick, and then I'll start talking about things. So we have pepper seeds, pepper, paprika, chili powder, pepper bomb, uh, <laughs> some pepper spray, which always cracks me up, uh, a pepper grinder, spice jars, and a pile of paprika. So up here, we have the spice jar and the pile of paprika. I really like the look of these things. And then over here, of course, we have the pepper plant. So when you have the pepper in your game, you're probably going to want to plant it, right? So go ahead and grab a hoe, grab some water, and find somewhere to farm your crops. So let's go... Um, over here and farm this time so there we go we have some water and we'll till the land you know just like we normally would and all of that's the same and then we have our pepper seeds you throw the pepper seeds onto this tilled land and then you have a pepper plant now of course you're gonna have to wait some time for the pepper crop to grow so over here i have some fully grown pepper crops when you're ready to harvest it go up to that crop and shift on it and boom you have a pepper. Now, as you can see, this plant is still here, and, and that is because the peppers will slowly grow back onto these plants. You don't need to worry about replanting them. Of course, I have full hunger right now, but to eat the peppers, you're gonna wanna shift, and then the whole eating animation happens. The pepper will fill three hunger, or one and a half drumsticks, and as you can see, when I ate that pepper, I have speed and fire resistance now. So the pepper isn't only a food, but it also gives you some cool effects, and with the speed, I feel like a million times faster. So, <laughs> so that's kind of crazy. So you're probably gonna wanna get your hands on some pepper seeds, of course. Right in front of us is the speedy pepper zombie. Pepper zombies will spawn in place of 20% of zombies below Y24. The pepper zombies have a little bit more health and a little bit of a stronger hit. If we kill the pepper zombie, we just got a pepper grinder and some pepper seeds, so that's pretty cool. Now, I want to try fighting a pepper zombie really quick. This could be bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is bad. Uh, I didn't set my spawn, so I'm going to try very hard not to die this time. It looked like it did, like, two and a half hearts, though, to me. That's, like, pretty rough. Uh, oh, hi, other zombies. Oh, no. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> that problem is solved. We're, we're getting out of here. 
So the pepper grinder is actually the crafting table of this data pack. Again, you can get your hands on one of these from killing a pepper zombie. So you're going to want to put items inside of the spots in the hopper to craft things. So right there, boom, we just made some chili powder. If we take pepper and put that in there, then we get some paprika. If we take a bunch of paprika, we get a pile of paprika. If we take some glass panes and throw them in here alongside some paprika, we should get a spice jar. And then, of course, you're wondering about the pepper spray, right? So, for the pepper spray, we need a slime ball, we need a glass bottle, we need some chili powder, uh, and then I think we need some pep- no, maybe we need a pepper and a paprika? No? Ah, uh, no, we need all chili powder, and that's how we get pepper spray. Now, take a look at what pepper spray does. You definitely don't want to get hit by this stuff. That's not going to be good at all. Like, <laughs> like seriously like yeah don't mess with this stuff and of course there is the pepper bomb as well to make that you need your items in the table just like that and now we have a pepper bomb <laughs> <laughs> if you want to move your grinder, don't mine it up, put a TNT in it, and it will break just like that so you can move it around. Just to show off the recipes one final time, here they are. What each recipe makes is laid out on the right hand side. Now, if you do install this pack, there is a wonderful readme file inside of the data pack folder, and I definitely advise you to check that out because all of that information that I've been telling you is from that file. If you read that file, you will definitely understand and know about the pack a whole lot more. The thing I really, really like about this pack, other than, of course, these paprika piles and spice jars, is the crafting. I really like the crafting inside of the hopper and how you get the whole pepper grinder crafting table in the first place. I think the pepper zombie is a really cool thing, and overall, just really nice job air volt i'm really really impressed with this pack but that is the pepper pack for minecraft 1.13 again it's linked down below you should definitely check it out and last but certainly not least we have the squid in a bucket data pack by octagus 13 um now uh <laughs> you're probably saying waddles what do you mean squid's not a food and Certainly. <laughs> Absolutely, it's not up. So, find a squid in your world and throw a water bucket at the squid. Pick up that bucket and now you have a squid in a bucket. Then, make your way back to your base and um, put your squid in a bucket into an aquarium. <laughs> and there you go. That's a squid. Uh, at your base. <laughs> uh, and so that's all the pack does. Now this pack does have a resource pack. Make sure you have that on. And yeah, of course, I know it's not food. You can't eat the squid or anything. You can literally just pick it up and bring it home. I just wanted to show the pack off because I thought it was a neat idea. I'm kind of not sure why we can't really do it. And I was really impressed with the texture work. Look at this texture of the squid in a bucket in my hand. That is so cool looking. And that's just about it. Throw a bucket at a squid and then throw a bucket wherever you want the squid and there you go but that's just about it for our data pack video today i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you missed any previous episodes or you want to re-watch something the playlist for the data pack series will be on the end slide in just a few moments here leave a like if you liked the video subscribe if you haven't yet and remember tell the data pack creators thank you thank you very much for watching go have a good day i will see you next time goodbye everyone